Hello everyone, welcome to Form 3 Mathematics Chapter 5 Trigonometric Ratios where this is the part 2 video So in the part 1 video, we already learned about sine, cosine and tangent And in this video, we are going to look at the impact of changing the size of the angles on the values of sine, cosine and tangent So now you are given a, a right angle triangle where the angles here is 10 degrees the length of the base is 10 cm. What will happen to the values of sine, cosine and tangent when this angle here increases to 20, increases 30, 40, 50 and so on with the base length still the same. So we want to explore it now. With this given example here, we try to first find the sine of the angles by using the uh, formula of sine of a reference angle theta here equals to opposite side over hypotenuse so sine of this angle which is 10 degrees we measure the opposite side and then we measure the hypotenuse divide the length of the opposite side with the length of the hypotenuse even though the values is not shown here but we will get the value of 0 0.1736 or actually you can key in calculators sine 10 you will get 0 0.1736 and then we try to find sine for 20 degrees so we measure the opposite side we measure the hypotenuse we divide it we will get the values is 0 0.3420 and we did the same for 30 degrees we measure this side opposite side and we measure the hypotenuse we find that it is 0 0.5 so from the trend here you can see that if it is a sine 50 what do you think will be the value? Will it be bigger than 0 0.5 or will it be smaller? So you can see that it is increasing. So if you use a calculator, we get the values is 0 0.7660. We use a larger value of the angle, sine 80, we'll get 0 0.9848. So the larger the reference angle, the larger the value of the sine. And you can see that it is approaching value of 1. So the conclusion here is, the larger the size of the acute angle, so the acute angle here refers to the reference angle, so when it increases, the larger the size, the larger the value of sine, the larger the value of sine, and it is approaching the value of 1. How about cosine? So we repeat the same process, but this time we use cosine, we find the adjacent side which is 10 cm, Divide by the hypotenuse, which we measure, and then we divide, we we'll get the value is 0 0.9848. Then we find the cosine for 20 degrees, we'll get 0 0.9396. We find the cosine for 30 degrees, where we take the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. We divide it, we'll get 0 0.8660. And then we continue with cosine 50, you get this value. Cosine 80, you get this value. So you will see that when you increase the reference angle, what will happen to the value of the cosine? It decreases and it is approaching zero. So the larger the size of the acute angle, the larger the size, the smaller the value of cosine and the value approaches zero. The last one, of course, we want to Look at the relation between the tangent, between the values of the tangent and, and the values of the angles. For the first triangle, tangent 10, we take the opposite side, we measure here, divide by the adjacent, which is 10. So this length divide, divide by this, we will get 0 0.1763. And for tangent 20, we measure this side, we divide by 10 here, you get 0 0.3640. We continue with 30, you get this, 50, you get this. And now you see that when you increase the angle, when the values of the angles increases, the value of tangent, the value of tangent increases as well. So the larger the size of the acute angle, the larger the value, the larger the value of the tangent, the larger the value of the tangent, the value increases. So these are the three of the relation between sine, cosine and tangent with the values of the acute angle, of the reference angle. Example questions uh, regarding this. Diagram shows two right angle triangles. There are two right angle triangles with the length all given. 
determine all the trigonometric ratios of angle X and angle Y. So we find all the trigonometric ratios, which is sine, cosine, tangent for this, and then we find sine, cosine, and tangent for this angle. Now, for this angle, for angle X, sine X, so according to the formula, opposite side over hypotenuse, so the opposite side will be 4 centimeters over hypotenuse will be 5 because hypotenuse is the side which is opposite the right angle so it's 4 over 5 whereas for this sine y sine y will be opposite you know, the opposite side here 8 hypotenuse is 10 so 8 over 10 which uh, needs to be simplified becomes 4 over 5 now for cosine the formula cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so the adjacent side is 3, hypotenuse is 5, so 3 over 5. For cosine y, adjacent is 6, hypotenuse is 10, so it's 6 over 10. And you simplify it, you get 3 over 5. Now we look at tangent. For tangent, tangent according to the formula, opposite side. So tangent x is opposite 4, adjacent. Adjacent is 3, so it's 4 divided by 3, 4 over 3. So for y here, the opposite side is 8, opposite, and the adjacent side is 6. So 8 over 6, we simplify it, you get 4 over 3. So from here you will see that even though the angles are different, uh, even though the triangles are different, the value of sine 4 over 5 4 over 5, cosine 3 over 5, 3 over 5, and tangent 4 over 3, 4 over 3 are all the same. Then state whether all the trigonometric ratios of angle X and Y are equal. Yes, they are equal. Now the question is, why are they equal? So we look at the triangles again. Can you see what are the relation between the smaller triangle and the bigger triangle? You see here, the corresponding side of 3 cm is 6, 4 is 8, 5 is 10. So you will see that actually 3 times 2 you get 6, 4 times 2 you get 8, 5 times 2 you get 10. So all the sides are actually proportional. So when all the sides are proportional and you take the same corresponding angles, they will have the same trigonometric ratios. The sine, cosine, and tangent will be the same for these two angles if the three sides here of the triangles are proportional. So because the length of the corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional. Now we go to the second relationship. We want to discuss the relationship between sine, cosine and tangent. To show you the relationship, we refer to this triangle here. We have triangle ABC. You are given the hypotenuse here. AB has a value of one unit. This side, X. This side it has a value of y. And we take theta here, this angle, as a reference angle. So this will be the opposite side. This will be the adjacent side. If you want to find the sine theta here, we use the formula opposite side over hypotenuse. So opposite side will be x, hypotenuse will be 1. So the answer is x over 1. We simplify it, we get sine x, sine theta equals to x. Now if you want to find cosine theta, Cosine according to the formula is adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So it's y over 1. y over 1, simplify it, you get y. And for tangent theta, the formula is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent, which is x over y. And now, the x here is also equals to this equals to sine theta meaning that this x here can be replaced by can be replaced with sine theta whereas y here equals to this y which is cosine theta so y here can be replaced with cosine theta so tangent theta can be written as sine theta over cosine theta so this is the relationship between these three trigonometric ratios tangent theta equals to sine theta over cosine theta we try to look at a few example questions regarding this formula 
If sine theta equals to 0 0.3 and cosine theta equals to 0 0.4, calculate the value of tangent theta. So without drawing the triangles, without measuring the sides, we can find tangent theta by using the formula sine theta over cos theta. And the sine here, we know this is 0 0.3 cosine 0 0.4. So 0 0.3 over 0 0.4, simplify it, you get 0 0.7. Question 2. Given sine theta is 1 over 2 and cosine theta is uh, square root of 3 over 2, calculate the value of tangent theta. Again, since sine and cosine are given, you can use the formula to find tangent theta, which is sine here is 1 over 2, cosine here is square root of 3 over 2. So you replace the value here. And since this is a division of fractions, this becomes 1 over 2 times you flip the position of the denominator and numerator, you get 2 over 2 over square root of 3. 2 and the 2 here, you cancel off, you get 1 over square root of 3, and you can leave this as your final answer. For question 3, given sine theta equals to 1 over square root of 2, and tangent theta equals to 1, find the value of cosine. Now again, since sine ten and tangent are given, you want to find cosine, we can use the formula. But this time it's different because only sine and tangent are given. So you replace these two parts with the values given here. 1, tangent theta is 1 here. 1 equals to 1 over square root of 2 over cosine theta. Then, since we want to find cosine theta, we move this to this side. Division, we move it here, becomes multiplication. So it multiplies by 1, so it equals to cosine theta. And it is equal to 1 over square root of 2. This is the end of the, for the part 2 video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.